The next big thing in automotive safety ratings actually could not care less how well you fare inside the car. The IAHS is adding a new facet to its coveted top safety picks to reflect how well the car protects pedestrians. Testing is done to simulate three scenarios. An adult crossing the road as cars approach at both 12 and 25 miles an hour. A child popping out from between parked cars, again with cars at 12 and 25. And an adult walking down the right-hand shoulder with traffic, with cars passing at 25 and 37 miles an hour. That one simulates your drunk uncle stumbling home from the tavern. Points are awarded based on how well the car is able to reduce its speed and avoid hitting the pedestrian, as well as how well it tells the driver there's a pedestrian out there to avoid being hit. Let's face it, we're not in the autonomous era yet, so you got to keep that driver looped in as early as possible. Now, why is the IIHS adding this facet to their battery of tests now? One of them is a very urgent factoid. Between 2009 and 17, we have seen a 45% increase in U.S. pedestrian deaths from being hit by a car. That way over indexes the 10% overall increase in auto fatalities across the same period. Something's way out of line here. Reasons often cited for this spike include phones distracting drivers and pedestrians, a profusion of SUVs with taller front ends that impact your head and chest instead of your legs, and in a third of fatalities, the pedestrian was drunk. Secondly, affordable mainstream cars now typically have the tech required to avoid pedestrians. Various forward sensors and automatic braking software that is tied into those sensors. It's no longer just a luxury car thing. And finally, there's been enough data gathered over the years this technology's been available, let's say the last decade or less, that insurers can now predict they'll see up to a third fewer pedestrian collision claims from cars that have this built in. And never lose track of the fact that these top safety pick ratings are not just about helping you find the right car, they're about twisting automakers' arms to install technology that will reduce claims. Now, a few vehicles have already been tested under this new pedestrian avoidance regimen in preparation for the full rollout. The top scores went to the Honda CRV, Subaru Forester, Toyota RAV4, and Volvo's XC40. They all got a score of superior. It's as high as you can get. And finally, the technology we're seeing now to avoid pedestrian collisions, while impressive, is going to seem quaint in a few years. LiDAR is going to start to proliferate as part of autonomy, but it's exceptionally good at spotting pedestrians at quite a distance and even predicting what they're going to do next and avoiding that trajectory. And we'll also see the lift that 5G will give this area. Your 5G phone and the 5G cars out there in the future may be able to do a V to X connection, where your phone is a beacon, constantly telling all the cars around you, I'm here and maintain a distance around me, kind of a virtual cellular force field. Those are not science fiction anymore.